Hello everyone. So today I have a video of my trip to St. Louis, Missouri. Now, if you don't know, I have recently become a Lutheran Youth Representative. So that is why I went to Missouri and it was for a camp. I would just like to give a thank you to my mentor, Mark Nelson. He went all the way with me to St. Louis and drove us over to Wichita at 3 in the morning. And he dealt with teenagers for a full weekend. So, I hope that you enjoy this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we were doing there and my experience. Please enjoy! Right? But it's without measure. I'm not using a teaspoon or a, or a half cup measuring cup. It's without measure. It's abundant. And because, because God's grace is so abundant that it covers your sin, even the ones that you don't want to talk about, that you don't want to think about. His grace covers that sin. He covers your weaknesses. It covers all the things that you just think you're not enough. Like, I'm not quite good enough to do that. I'm not as good of a leader as I wanted to be. I've made these mistakes. His, his grace covers all of that. It's abundant. And there's so much on here. Make sure to brush your teeth when you're done with it. It's so abundant that there's plenty to share. You know, pass out spoons to God's abundance. You know? And, and this, is, this is the grace that he gives us through his means of grace. Now I'm going to put this down so I can do the next point part. So this portion of the retreat was something that I really enjoyed. Basically, we got into groups of five. You would sit in a circle and you would say any requests that you had for prayer. At this time, you were truly able to reflect and say anything that was in your heart. Once you were done giving your request, the person to your left would pray for you and everything that you had requested. Once there was about two minutes left, some music would play as a warning that it was almost time for the next person to go. When you were all done, the person to your left would bring your shoes to the altar. So we went shoeless for the night and picked up our shoes in the morning. I know that in my group, we all got really close and we even exchange our contact information for a prayer group. So as you may have seen in an earlier clip, each group had to present a devotion. So we went through a training on how to lead one and what should be in it. Each group got to pick their own topic and then present it in front of everyone. Here's a few clips and a part of devotion that my group did. Hi, my name is Courtney. I live in Salina, Kansas, and the fries are terrible. <laughs> uh, my name is Carolyn, and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Awesome. My name is Li Lily, and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri also. 
and we're eating lunch. Yes. With <laughs> Another thing that we did at the retreat were affirmation bags, which were basically just people writing nice and affirming notes to another person. And it was really nice to read. Welcome to the clips of our trivia night. Um, it was really fun. We had people from St. Louis come in and um, host a little trivia night. And there's my team. We actually ended up winning, which was awesome. And they also brought in um, ice cream from St. Louis, which was very good. So unfortunately, this was the end of our trip, but I was so glad I got to go. I learned so much how to lead as a youth in the church and also my baptismal identity and i got to meet people from all over the united states who were leaders in the lutheran church which was amazing i have so many memories from this i hope that you enjoyed watching this and i'm glad that i got to bring a little bit to you to see